Hey guys, I'm giving away $1,000 as usual every episode of this season two of Gray Market. To those that like, share, subscribe, and comment on this episode. And I hope this episode is as hot as this chip. Why are you wearing f***ing rubber gloves, first right? of all? Right? Because he doesn't want to touch it. Apparently they're making me eat the hottest f***ing chip in the world. Is that what this is? Come on. The whole thing! What is it? Water. He's still clocking water. 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 This is hot. I can't breathe, bro. Get this away from me. Oh my god. Everybody shut the f*** up. I'm dying. It just hit my stomach and I'm not feeling well right now. Back from the show, we usually have a, a sales meeting every morning before we really get to the uh, the thick of it. With the other sales guys at the show, it was uh, just Anna and I. Let's see, what am I What's working up? on? What's up? How was the show? It was good. Yesterday. Um, yesterday was definitely a lot busier than Friday or Saturday. Of course. Um, the day that I'm not there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it was a good time. Uh, a lot of new people, a lot of new connections. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually just called this gentleman who wanted more details on the site work that we have. So what does he want to know? Uh, he just wanted to know like the the full year, uh, full year, like what it came with. So I just went downstairs and like grabbed pictures oh. of the box. And whatnot. You know, you could have just asked me yesterday. Just a like quicker way that you can do things if you go on into the shipping, shipping chip. Chat, yeah, I realized that as soon papers. as he had left. Right, so. there's pictures of the, pa the papers. Yeah. Actually, I want to do the same thing for what Natalie does with the Rolex cards for everything? now. I want to do it for everything. I agree 100%. Uh, Natalie and Anna had this awesome idea where they would take a WhatsApp group and send pictures of every Rolex card that we have. So we can sort by SKU, web ID, and pretty much any other information that we have on that watch. So this is <laughs> some new social media guy. Hi, I'm Tristan. Nice hey. to meet you. I like your chain. Thanks. Does it have bling on it? Yeah. Does it have bling on it? No, it's just. Oh, it looks. It looks like some, it does from some here. Some fancy little engravings. Engraving. It looks yeah. awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you really wanted it, yeah. and then somebody My roommate not to talked me it. out of it. Oh, it's Roman Sharp. What am I doing with this? What is it? Um, it's a side. Yeah, you have to bring it back. So these three, these three are coming back, yeah. Yeah, they're sold. You're you're just okay. in time for our morning powwow. Yeah, it's just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the morning power. Where's Dennis? Dennis. Oh, is he here? I'm, I'm, I'm used to Dennis not being here. That's why. Who's, who's creeping behind you? Who is it? It's Cameron and Tristan. Oh. Hey, how's it going? He's just taking pictures of <laughs> social. So, so it's actually just the four of us. So your morning sales meeting power consists of the sales manager and one salesperson, a videographer, and a social media. Yes, manager. correct. Precisely. Uh, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, can you get Dennis the medicine there, maybe? Yeah, we'll we'll get him in. All right, bye. Bye. We'll talk about that when, we'll about that when I get back. Yes. Bye. Bye. Dennis. Yo. So we're having our morning powwow in my office. Oh, okay. Are you sure you want me in there? I'm still kind of sick. Everybody's sick. Everybody's sick in here, so... No one has COVID. It's not COVID. I literally got texted four times in a matter of like a week and a half. Oh, hey. come in. So. How was that? So you were here Friday without us. How, yes. how was that? Yeah. Um, were there? Sh uneventful mostly. Friday was a good day. Like nothing on us, but just a few situations that we needed to get involved in and right. get a couple pieces jump started. Uh, right. Well, there's there's always situations. So yeah. the, 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 the key of. day, really. Right. The key of customer service is to. Yeah. Take care of the situation yeah, and that's what we did yep little by little did you get to uh, a chance to look at the um, magento tickets that i sent you over the weekend no i was gonna do that today do it today please you got it cool and we need to figure out how to uh add them to zendesk yeah definitely are you guys exp having any cs issues with your people 
Anybody having like delivery issues or notifications? No. Um, no, the only thing is I did see an email over the weekend and said I emailed twice and I didn't re uh, receive a reply. I'm going to actually forward it to you because I looked okay. in Zendesk. It didn't have any prior um, history. Okay, so I'll let's see like where it came from just to make sure. So, <laughs> you know. Send it over. Cool. Take a look. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Well, let's, let's get to work. Sweet. Let's do it. Monday. Go team, go. Back from the show and it's already hitting the fan. Lord Jesus, it's a fire. I don't know what's burning. Can somebody turn that off? Uh, don't get up, Abby. It's not like there might be a fire or anything. Press what? Review? Zone 5. What the f is zone 5? Oh, good job. What the f? I mean, I don't want there to be fire some damn where. Oh, sh Whoops. Back to business and back to my morning rounds. I'm back with a vengeance. Sa safe, safe looks very empty. Natalie, um, bunch of things. So we sold a bunch of watches, a bunch of boxing papers. I have the invoices upstairs. Apparently everybody got sick while we were gone. Tanya's sick. Alex is sick. No one has COVID. It's not COVID. No, Dennis has been sick every other day. <laughs> Either him or his dog. I don't know. Okay, is this all the watches? Uh, there were two bins. No, it's not all the watches. You guys kidding me? Should be another bin full of watches. It's right there. And then. Uh, I thought I thought this is sold. Uh, yes, but uh, customer changed his mind. So it's not sold. Yeah. Customers change their minds all the time. The Rose Gold Offshore. It just uh, sent it back to us, and um, whenever we get it back, we'll just, you know, I'll just refund you the difference for that. I received your email, and I'm gonna have our shipping department send you the Sky Dweller back. It's part of everyday business, and we deal with it. This is sold. There's gonna be an invoice for it, but we need to get this guy a new strap and clean the watch up. This is the next best thing after Rainbow Daytona. Look at that. How much? Uh, <laughs> How much? Five hundred. Sold. Thousand. Sold Thank to you. you so sold much. to you. <laughs> <laughs> but like this is sold. I'm trying to do a, a focus. This is the rose gold lang that came from Hong Kong. Remember? Okay, so this is a little weird. So he gave the watch to his husband and he kept the wallet and he's like, I don't want the pen and I don't want the box. This Andre's watch came back from repair. Remember that watch that Daniel Roth that came back from Mama the Diamond one? This is the papers for it. Guys, uh, what is this jewelry that was in Hong Kong? I did not buy it. This is the watch that we sold. It needs to go to our Hong Kong office for Mustafa. So this it was only the bracelet that needed to be repaired. The bracelet is with Adam. This put in the soul bin. She gave me a deposit. I'm going to wait for the rest of the money. Nick, did you sell this? The Omani Tudor? Yes. So the guy, you're going to follow up with him? I'm going to put this in the soul bin for now? Yeah. Anna, don't touch nothing. Don't touch nothing. I think this may have been in a plastic box, but whatever, it doesn't matter. This is not ours. This is new. This is new. This is new. Matt, you like those watch on a bracelet or on a rubber strap? Uh, on a bracelet. Whoever does tags like this needs to be shot. So talk to Allah or whoever. I don't want him up here. Yeah, it's my OCD talking again. This tag like sticks up. I can't tuck it in. No, just no. This came back from repair and needs to be tagged. Mm -hmm. Anna, here's your second offshore. Here's your Daytona and Explorer, right? Again. Uh, what are the, uh, the bracelets? What bracelets? The two bracelets I put aside. I have no idea, but I, I didn't put them aside. You're gonna have to ask Alex and Gary. Eli, in a second, I'll give you the stuff. It needs to go to my office, all right? All right. <laughs> Not the bathroom. My actual my actual office. Funny guy. Not yeah. The one the one on the roof next to the pool. You know, this, these are the pens that our very first gray market video. It started with the scene of me and Adrian making fun of me for buying these friends. <laughs> All right, Anthony. <laughs> and they're still here. <laughs> so maybe he was right. Avi, can we talk about uh, something? Something. Let's go to Vlad's office. Talk to me about Dennis. Okay, so, so basically Dennis uh, came in here on Friday afternoon. Uh, Avi already left, so I didn't have a chance actually to talk to him. 
he expressed concern that he's getting fired and this and that. And I said, listen, uh, some of the things I'm not sure what Ivy told you, but I'm not, you know, I can tell you what I'm not happy with. I said it's not, it hasn't been finalized, and you know, uh, but obviously there are some concerns about him, and I promise him that, you know, when you will come back, we'll sit down and talk. It so where is he now? I guess well, after talking the, to him, here, what thing. does he want to do? Here's the thing. I mean, I told him on Friday. I said, and this was an off-the-record conversation. This wasn't like a, you know, a, a job thing. I was like, dude, I was like, if you want to make any money, you have to do sales. There is no job for you here, being head of customer service. Like, it makes no sense. So he sees a guy that's full of wonderful ideas, right. except zero no execution. execution. Zero. So then the next question, what the f do we need him for? We don't. And, it, you know, it's, it's unfortunate because, like, again, to find somebody that fits in, that, you know, understands the culture, that is relatively smart, you know, is hard. But if you don't have the work ethic to back up, then none of it matters. I mean... Yeah, but it's, it's uh, you know, what I promise him is that, that uh, you know, we talk... I would... Here's, a, here's the thing. If, let me if, finish the sentence, please. Please. Uh, you know, and see whether Luxury Bazaar can offer him something to do where something that he wants to do. He doesn't want to do sales. He obviously he realizes. But apparently he does because the last conversation I had with him, he wants to do sales. The last conversation I had with him, he wants to do sales too. I hope you guys will agree with this. I say we'll see when he comes back. I'll sit down with him. Actually, we all sit down yes, with him. Yes, we all sit down. And we're going to say, look, Dennis, we're not talking. What the f do you want to do? Right. Because my whole thing to him is going to be very simple. If, let's say, you do want to go into sales and you do want to go into creating that content, becoming another face, and, and maybe possibly doing your own YouTube channel or whatever else, because he's come up with wonderful concepts. Great concept. My whole thing with him is going to be like, look, when you come up with a great concept and you have the personality, if you don't have the drive to match, there's no place for right, you here. Absolutely. So for you to make, if, you, if you're here <laughs> and you want to make a, a good living and have a career, you need to act like it. Absolutely. That's it. That's right. Oops. So you We're on the same page. Okay. Yes, let's yes, wait yes. for him to come back. Yeah. And that's it. When we bring someone on, and if there are issues, we'll do everything and anything in our power to make that individual work for us. Which is why in this meeting we discussed everything, but at the same token, there was no decision to fire the guy. There was only the decision to hear him out once again, see what he wants to do, and see how we can utilize him and how we can work with him to actually make him successful here. It seems to me that every time I hire somebody for a position, they eventually end up being on sales. We still had a vacancy for a social media guy and we found Tristan. What's up y'all? I'm Tristan, I'm the new social media guy. Let's cue the cinematic intro. Of course, after the hiring process, after Avi has spoken to him, after Vlad has spoken to him, and after I had spoken to him, he was eventually hired and started. It was time for me to sit down and just have a quick talk with him. The content side of things, I mean, between three videographers who are also photographers and two other videographers and two other photographers and him, who is also a photographer, this shouldn't be, we shouldn't have an issue. It's just a question of managing, right? So for your, your job is not just to create and do, your job is also to manage the process. That's actually your main job. Yeah, that is. Because the resources we have. So it's a question, how do you keep that momentum rolling for more than the lifetime of a story on Instagram, but throughout all the platforms? And the main thing is introduction of, again, TikTok, and then utilizing YouTube stories. It should be have to engaging, content. entertaining yeah. content that's coming from us, and not just from, the, because the members of the group are posting cool yeah. pictures, cool stories, this, that, and the other. So we need to identify, I don't, I think that that group can grow to 100,000 members in, 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 in no time. How about we say... Monday? No, how about we say Friday, come back with, a, again, nothing formal, I don't, I don't expect a f***ing PowerPoint presentation, I don't give a f it's on paper, but come up with your findings, really concentrate on talking to everybody that runs their accounts, Anna, Adrian, Nick, Alex, me, right? Because once in a blue moon, I'll post and you're gonna be like, really, really yeah, late. Yeah, quality Come sucks. Um, no offense, I mean, but it's just... I, again, I'm not, uh, it is what it is. Let's come back I on Friday. I want you to actually start working. I want you to, you know, forget this whole, like, like I'm going to spend my entire day planning stuff. I, mean, I actually great. want him to plan. It's great. Do but a little bit of that. I guess. Today is Tuesday. We put out a video yesterday. I want you to start coming up with the content that's going on everybody's channel that's promoting the video. Cool. All right.
so I've been in sales for a few months now, uh, on top of the uh, the year of me being at Luxury Bazaar, and I really wanted to get a one-on-one -on -one with Roman, and you know, and really find out there's anything that I can do and improve on to really increase my sales. So, a few things I have to ask about. Obviously, this month was, pr in my opinion, pretty good with sales and things of that nature. What I'm asking, or what I'm looking for more so, is how do I continue this trend? I have my broadcast list, which is growing daily. You know, I'm posting things to Moda, I'm posting things to the Great Market Group. You know, be, trying to be as proactive as possible. My question to you is, what do you see that I can improve on that I can actually take more trends to? Obviously, I'm being as transparent as I can be with the client. I think we've got the part of you being more transparent uh, about being less afraid of not making the sale. Right. I think we took that off the table, right? Yeah. It's more confidence. It's more transparency. It's transparency, period, right? It's, you got your steps in every sale. Yeah. Once you're done with it, you're done with it. You sit back, you hold on. Yes, you can follow up. If you haven't heard from somebody in the week and you want to follow up, that's fine. You send that message, you send right. that email, you send that DM, whatever it is. You have to look at the statistics, right? Right. You close maybe one out of every 10 deals. A, people shop around. B, uh, people are not always ready to buy right away. They're just checking pricing. Uh, C, somebody may beat your price. They're like children in the candy store, like, I want this watch. <laughs> you know what? No, I don't want this watch anymore. I right. want this watch, right? Now you don't have that watch available. Right. How do you take stuff to the next level is it's a numbers game, right? And that number translates to time. Journal yourself for a week. You'll quickly realize where your time is going, what is being spent on and what's most productive. It takes time. Oh, yeah. You know, Anna, Hannah's Rolodex is, you know, 100,000 people deep. Yeah. Yours is already pretty long. I'm pretty sure it's already pretty long. And it's not necessarily people that have bought from you. Those results are not necessarily sales. Sometimes it's exposure growing your Instagram account, growing your own following, and things of that nature, right? Yep. That also has a, a benefit to it. Any questions? No, I mean, I think... The, if the main takeaway for you with this is not the how, you're a creative guy, you'll figure that part out. The main takeaway should be, it's about consistency and not getting burned out, yep. right? You have less of a chance of getting burned out or being down, but the fact that you may not be as happy with the results, although I'm very happy with the results, your sales are slowly doing this. I, wanted, I want you to get to Alex's level. There's no reason why you can't. Right. And you're going to catch him fairly soon, right? But Alex is also doing a lot of innovative and creative things in order to take his sales to the next. He's going to have the best month ever. He's going to be way over a million this month. Yeah. You have to figure out what works for you. You have to execute it consistently. Along the way, you're going to discover right. what you things can do on a regular, really on a daily. <laughs> as things progress, that's going to help you in your sales. Because you're going to have great months and then you're also going to have bad months. Right. You know, it's one of those things, yeah, right? But as long as it's consistently doing this, You'll be fine. Cool. All right. Is that it? That's it. All right. Thanks, Roman. Appreciate it. I mean, everything that Roman said has rung true 100%. So there's no reason why I can't take what he said and put it into place and get it done. It is so refreshing to see initiative. This is one of the things I've always pushed in this company. Initiative, initiative, initiative. And open communications. Don't be afraid to speak up. And most of all, don't be afraid to ask for help. We are here to ensure that every single individual that works here is here to succeed one way or the other. So last week me and Adrian made a bet and the general consensus based on your comments and everybody saying that Adrian technically won because the one watch was sold technically outside of the show if you will. Uh, so besides having to give him a bottle of UPKA, the team also had another idea. Looks like a f***ing funeral possession. <laughs> Mr. Shark. Why are you wearing f***ing rubber gloves, first right? of all? Because he doesn't want to touch it. <laughs> Bro, I'll hold it. I'll hold it for you. There you go. And you take a bite. Go down. Go down. Go down. Yeah, put the s*** out. No, lick your fingers now. <laughs> Hell no. All right, guys. I'm giving away $1,000, as usual, every episode of this Grey Market Season 2. <laughs> Uh, for those that like, comment, share, and subscribe, and apparently they're making me eat the hottest f***ing chip in the world. Is that what this is? The whole thing, baby. Come on. The whole thing! Water. He's still caught water. 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 What are you feeling? What are you feeling? What are you feeling? <laughs> this shit is hot. I can't f***ing breathe, bro. I don't see sweat beads yet. Get this f***ing away from me. <laughs> oh my f***ing god. It's not that bad. Hey, you don't have a Twitch yet. I mean, no, it's you, do you, you don't want to try this. Anybody have I took this much. Yeah, you just eat half. You got, you got <sighs> don't eat half. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's a champion right there. <laughs> Are you fing kidding me? He's fine. Ah. How is it? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's hot? Yeah. Uh, wow, man. Look at this guy. My mouth is still fing better. Why is he fighting? I'm fucking but like, I'm, I can. Wow. Hold. That's a champion right there. Yeah. That's a true Ukrainian villager right there. Right there. Right there. That's a champion. My right. mouth is still burning. Ilya, he's 75% of me. going to ship up. Ilya was raising backwards of a village in Russia somewhere. His, his little head, his hair is like... <laughs> anything anything left of his head is like coming off. His, his hair is not a f***ing grown back. I think after Ilya's reaction, or lack thereof, curiosity just got the better of everyone. So of course we all tried it. He's on that one chip diet. <laughs> I see it, it hits you. Dude, there's no more milk. <laughs> Anna, the little piece, come on. The, the tiny little piece, right here. Uh, here, I got you on standby, girl. Go ahead. <laughs> Ready? Do it, do it now. Mm -hmm. Give it a second. <laughs> this is crazy. Here, hurry up. Oh my god. <laughs> Whose idea was the chip? It was Cameron. You're fired. <laughs> Avi, I want I want to talk to Alice for five minutes. And then I want to talk to you, Dennis, and Vlad. I already had a conversation with Nick. Might as well have a conversation with Alex. And I have some really good news for Alex. Alex, walk with me. Walk with you. Be delighted to. Walk with you. I'll be delighted to. This freaking cold killed everybody in the office. Alex lost his voice. Don't mind my voice. People were kind of afraid of him at the trade show because they thought, you know, God forbid he had COVID, which he didn't. He just had a cold. No one has COVID. It's not COVID. Close the door. Close the door. So tensions are very high, and Roman calls me into this closed door meeting, which had me bugging. Your rush game is crazy today. Oh yeah, you like that? <laughs> that's very cool. Which which should I go with? White. That's so sick. Yeah, I'd absolutely. Be terrified. I don't even realize how I had two of them on, to be honest with you. Um, I'd go with the white ceramic. By the way, I think I'm gonna keep this watch for right. myself. Anna calls it du buffoon. It's called du buffoon. It's cool. I like it. I don't know how wearable it is though. It actually it is pretty wearable. <clears throat> is it? Believe it or not. <clears throat> Anyway, that's not what we decided to oh, be. Shit, I'm, literally, late. I'm pulling up your sales reports. Right. In the last five months, you've aver it's you've had five million two thousand dollars in, in sales. Okay. That's a million a month. Yeah. After being a salesperson for six months, that's right. f***ing insane. When Adrian started making money here as a young kid, I literally took half his f***ing paycheck. I kept his f***ing money after showing, sure. after seeing some of his American Express bills. And at 22 years old, yeah. when a ton of money falls on your head, you tend to lose your head. Number one, right. which I don't think. You have that quite yet, but at the same token, you have an advantage like no other employee here because there has never been an employee here at your age making the kind of money that you're making. Right. Which means, number one, is a way you're going to put away this money. Yeah. Uh, how much of it you're going to put away. And we talked about you know some people out there that will make fun of somebody that spends $500 on a uh, Balenciaga t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people. And for me, it's not about flexing, as you guys call it, is the popular term. It's not about right. being fire and any of that stuff. It's yeah. about setting a certain lifestyle for yourself. The yeah. problem becomes if that's all you're spending your money on, obviously. Right, so course. I'm going to need you to do one thing. That is create yeah. a spreadsheet. That spreadsheet should have all your expenses. Mm -hmm. That spreadsheet should have what you actually have. Pull down mm -hmm. your statements and allow, for, let's say for the last six months, yeah. it'll help you do two things. First of all, your debt's on one column, your assets on the other column you know what you're worth right, once you're right. minus the two. You know what your monthly nut is. You need to add a percentage to that that is a savings, yeah. right? And that savings can go, I'm gonna give you my financial broker that I use. He's gonna draw up that plan for you. This is what he does for a living, as he did for me. Right. And ultimately, the very first question he asked me is like, hey, when do you wanna retire and what do you want your lifestyle to be? I told him I wanna retire at 55 and I want my lifestyle to be $300,000 a month. Yeah. which was a stupid number I threw out of him just out of my fucking ass, right? right. And it obviously wasn't realistic. But with that said, he still came back to me and said, this is what you need to do if you want that, right? This is how much you need to put away. These are the tools you're going to put away in. in yeah. And this is going to be your ultimate result based on very, very conservative averages of the markets, right? right? But what you need to ensure is that, A, if this is the income I'm steady making, don't count on the fact that you're going to make more. Yeah. Count on the, on the smallest common denominator. For you, that's a million in revenue. We we'll know what that turns out to be in commissions. Yeah. And because you've been averaging 12% a month margins, not 10, not 9, which is great, right? right? So with that said, again, hot market. 
the market may slow down, your sales may slow down. Of course. The idea is that if and when the market does slow down, the Rolodex of your clientele has grown to a point where you can be like Anna and you don't have to rely on the market. You have exactly. enough clientele to, to get you through. Right. So get me that spreadsheet, show me the numbers, and then we, then we sit down and we'll look at your expenditures. And then you set your goals. Your goals are on you, i.e. you wanna buy a house. That could be one goal. Yeah. Another goal could be X amount of money in my savings account as a cushion, your 401k. At this point, you should be maxing it out. Yeah. You're 22. Do you know how much that's going to be by the time you get to retirement age? Your I'll total you is 4.5 million. So you'd have, you'd have four and a half million dollars. This is at a conservative growth rate of 7%. Right. <clears throat> See the head start you have? I didn't start doing that until I was like 26. And I wasn't maxing them out, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, how about this? At your age, you can actually catch up to me. Like yeah. fairly much quicker. But but you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. It's 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 making your money work for you. And in five years you'll f thank me. Of course. That's it. So with great success comes great responsibility, as some say. Um, I really needed to connect with Roman to talk about my finances, being that I am so young, uh, making the money that I am making, it's definitely a smart idea to start investing uh, a lot more and getting more involved in my financial future. <laughs>
But Vlad has also been here for 15 years and helped me run this ship. And he's the bulldog of the company. I'm the nice guy. He's not the nice guy. So you have to understand, and sometimes you have to deal with the culture, as you, with something you mentioned in the video. The culture of this company is very different. This is not California company culture. It's just not. You have a bunch of fucking immigrants that made it to where they are from absolutely fucking nothing. But that's besides the point. Anything to add, Avi? I mean, I brought you in, and if it was up to me, I would be the one to take you out. But it's not. Um, I mean, again, work ethic is, is key. If you are, after our conversation on Monday, the fact that you were too sick to come in yesterday, and again, sick is sick, but you're not that sick. You're not, you know, in a hospital bed dying. You show up. You know, I mean, that just, it's a bad reflection on yourself and in turn me. So they wanted to give you another chance. If you are, you know, interested in even taking it as a salesperson, because again, otherwise, you're getting the salary of a customer service person sitting here answering inquiries. That's not really interesting. So ultimately, it comes down to you. But sales is your route to make serious money for yourself, but obviously, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be, it has to be something that you, you want to do. Yeah. Yes. Why do I sound like a goddamn parent? When the fuck did this happen? No, since, since you became a one. Jesus yeah. Christ, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> um, yeah, you're not, is, that, is this not something that you're ready to decide on? I mean, I'd love to give an answer for the content. I know it's going to be such a cliffhanger if I don't, but... We don't really give a shit about content. This is, you know, obviously we're recording this because this yeah. is what we do. And I wish we could have had this whole conversation off camera. If you want to cut the cameras yeah, off at this point, let's, that's fine, yeah, camera. You can, you can yeah, cut the cameras. Yeah. I don't need this. Meantime, it's Halloween. Every year, the winner is always Anna. Anna loves to dress as someone else in the office and she hits it out of the ballpark every time. Oh, she dressed like me? <laughs> you just got that? Uh, you just got that? Baby, you ready? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Was this like planned? Hi, Anna, with that. Hi. Hey, what are you supposed to be? Can you want this Halloween? I don't know. <laughs> Have you met Tanya? Have you met Tanya? Oh my god! <laughs> They're twins! Who's <laughs> blood? Vlad is a Russian immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed up like Gary. I don't think he appreciated it. I was uh, looking over my shoulder pretty much the rest of the day. Do you think Nick looks like Gary? What do you think he looks like? Condom! She still says I look like a condom. Yesterday she walks up to me and she was like, throw them. <laughs> yeah, Tanya, no filter. <laughs> Alex, do I just come up and scare the f out of them so they fall out of the ceiling? What's up, boys? Hey. What's up, bro? Avi, what's up? I have no idea. Did he text anybody, email anybody? You wrote an email yesterday. Come on, did you read it? No, I didn't even see it. What's the email? I wasn't CC'd on anything. I want to say, uh, it's a bit long, beware. First, thank you for the transparency. What's the bottom line? I'm not reading this essay. Yeah, this is an essay. So basically, he said that he will think until the end of the week to, to give you an answer. But what, I, just do the same thing that I told you on Tuesday. Respond, thank you very much, stay home. You're no longer needed. I can ask him to call. So you can actually say, listen. If I commit to a new position, I want to be ready to go all in. Shoot, I'll sleep at the office if I have to. You have my word that I'm not going to make decisions lately. If I'm in, then I'm going in. Where did you find this guy? Yeah. He just moved back from Cali. He was great before he left. So you're saying Cali f***ed him up? Yeah, I mean, I had this guy working his ass off at every different company. Like, he, he would do anything that I told him to do. Like, I had him walking around the streets of Philadelphia just talking to random women. I had him dancing on Bustleton Avenue, like, just to get attention. I mean, this guy did it all. <laughs> Never actually required any thought, but... You, you had him dancing on Bustleton Avenue. Yeah, I had him that, dancing. That, that, that was the qualification was of bringing that him That was the qualification, yeah. He finally got off of that whole, I want to be a model actor thing. So I figured, okay, he's, he's a serious kid. Uh, you know what? 
let's, he said he's going to let us know by tomorrow. Yeah. Let, give this kid till tomorrow. I just want to see what he comes up with. I know for a fact that it's not, he's not going to come in and say, you know what? Yes, I've decided I want to do sales and I'm going to commit myself to it. Did he really do poorly at CS? Yes. No, he did great. He did great. Nobody's taught a new person like he did. Not one minute did we spend training him on any of our technologies, any of our systems, any of our processes. Small he learned it all himself. Where is Sabina? at right now in terms customer of service. all the inquiries and the Zendesk. She, does, she handles all that. So what the f do we need him if we she's We don't. That was, we, that's the idea. We don't need him for customer service. This is what you just said. I mean, yesterday you said, let's, as of today, we terminate this yeah. customer service manager, whatever they... Okay, so who who is going to go, go to Sabina and make sure she does the correct job? I will, I will. Regardless of whether he comes back or not, Sabina is the only one in CS. Yes. Which is also a big problem, obviously. Why? We have one person. If to, to, to tomorrow Sabina says, you know what, I'm out of here. What do you do? I mean, listen, we have Kara. We have Kara. Full time person for uh, you know Sabina's days off. Okay, so tell him, listen, take your time until Friday. I expect you to come back. Whether you stay here or not, I still ex expect you to have that document ready for us. Let's go to your office. He did ask until Friday to sort of make a decision. We decided to extend him the courtesy to do so, where in reality, we probably should have let him go right there and then. So yeah, I moved here to the state and wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, but I jumped into this opportunity with Luxury Bazaar and the gray market. But I ultimately realized that I need to figure out if I actually want to be here or not. Um, so unfortunately, I made the decision to leave Luxury Bazaar. Great company, great people, but I'm just not sure. Um, it's the location. I'm not sure if I want to be here. It all happened kind of fast, getting here and getting into the swing of things. So I think I need to take some personal time to figure out what exactly I want to do right now. I'm uh, Chris, I come to work for uh, Roman and Lunch Bazaar. I always want to be a life dealer and kind of life changing, I guess. God damn, you look even better on Oh man, look how good looking. That's a good looking right there. How much is that gold offshore? B7000. How much? They're gonna have to do a private event on November 11th. What is our purpose there? To sell watches. We compliance. can sell those watches here. Mr. Negativities, just look, can I finish oh, my sentence? Why immediately jump into it? I'm actually talking about it, so just okay. can you chill for a second? It sounds like you already made up your mind. I didn't make up my mind. I'm trying to I'm trying to explain it to you, but you don't let me because you you, you miss a negative right away. Right.